everyone and welcome to another episode of Salem for Lupia. As promised, another video on time this week. Um, we're just going to show you a few jobs, what we've been doing. Yeah, so um, we finished most of the jobs, uh, or pre-jobs, before we needed to go sailing. Got an awful lot done, but because we were in a sort of bit of rush to get them done, we didn't end up recording them all. Um, one big problem we did have, we went to set off uh, first thing in the morning to make the tides and um, we had engine failure. I think it was a vacuum problem, but um, you'll see that later on in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. So we got up this morning and we were going to leave um, with the tides and that it was perfect for us to leave at um, half five, quarter six in the morning. Um, done a set of engine checks before we were leaving and then found out that the water wasn't pumping, engine wasn't pumping water for him. So one of the problems I had when the sea cocks open the strainer was empty so i had to fill water up uh, from the kettle and it just goes straight out so one of the things i thought is possibly could uh, have blockage in here so what i've done is uh, i took the pipe off from underneath the strainer had the sea cock open and blew in i can hear the bubbles coming up underneath so i knew there was nothing trapped underneath there uh, stuck that back on there i took the impeller out of of here stuck a new one of the spare impellers in just in case um put a new gasket on there and put that on tried it again i still had no joy um so then what i did figure out is if, if i closed the seacock um and then stuck water in the strainer the water stays in there but then as soon as you open the the water had just run straight out, um, fire this straight out uh, through the seacock. I'm just guessing that it's some sort of blockage in the system or some sort of vacuum problem. So uh, I've been trying for a couple of hours now. I'm going to go for a cup of tea, have a little look on YouTube and see if I can figure stuff out. So I think I've figured out the problem. Um, it was it was the strainer. It was, uh, water was getting in, sorry, air was getting in at the top there. So what I've used is I've just used some um, seacock grease, stuck it around there, put it back on, sealed it, I started the engine, give it a bit of a blow through, and then it was perfect, working. So I'm just going to try it one more time to make sure of that, and then I'll leave it for 20 minutes, half an hour, just running in idle. Just to make sure it's good what i don't want to do is set off and then have the same problem but we've missed the tides and stuff now so it's um it's approaching low tide it's one o'clock now in falmouth and um i don't know if we've got enough water to get out so that we don't really want to do a night sail on one of our first sails on here so i think what we're going to do is we're going to have to uh possibly stop a foy which is halfway between here and falmouth um and plymouth uh, I think it's about a six hour sail, so um, that's quite good. So I'll see how this goes, let it run round, have another cup of tea, and then we'll get going if it's all good.
had easterly winds at about 15 knots, gusting 20. But Foy was directly the way the winds was coming from, so down came the sails, on went the engine, and we motored the last part so that we could get there before sunset. So we got to fight just before sunset which was perfect for us. Lovely little spot. Got my fishing rod out to catch me dinner. And another fishing rod over there. There's Jen, reading a Kindle. Some of you have been watching the channel for a while and know that uh, we've been to Foy quite a few times with it just being down the road. Uh, one of the times I came was with the Navy um, on one of the Navy's Contessa 38s. So the next bit of footage is while I was here with them. Uh, this footage was made on my phone while at sea. I think it was about two years ago.
everyone we'll do another video during the week well rob will do another video during the week um we will also do a boat tour as well which could be good and if there's any questions that anyone's got just write them underneath this video bye thanks for watching <laughs> sorry <laughs>